The Lighthouse of Phoebe got some new decor earlier this morning, this time in honor of a local school legend. WAOB News 10's Gabrielle Tate tells us how community members plan to keep his memory alive. I may be resting in my grave. Not a word can I say, but may the words that I have done speak for me. Amen. 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 That's what he would say. Frank Brown started as the custodian at Deerfield Windsor Lower School in 1977. He worked there for more than 46 years. Last year, he passed away after a battle with cancer. But before he did, students at Deerfield Lower School decided to support the lighthouse at Phoebe in his honor by raising over $15,000. I knew him because he, he saw about my children. You know, when they would show up for school, he was the smiling face that was there to welcome them. And then, you know, on the, on the flip side, I got to know him as a patient. I took care of him in the cancer center here. I'm a radiation oncologist and I, I was part of the treatment team. The lighthouse serves as a place for traveling families to stay at during their cancer treatment. It was chosen because Brown stayed at a similar facility in Atlanta during the days of his treatment. Staff at Phoebe say they hope the bench will serve many purposes. It's a place for people to kind of be able to sit down and reflect on what's good in life. You know, we've got a place here where folks from out of town can stay and have a place to rest their head and get food and you know, get to know other patients that are walking through the journey. It's, it's a place to find strength. It's a, it's, a face, it's a place to find support. He had a very good heart and he loved people. And like I say, a person may not remember what you say, but they're going to remember how you treat them. And when you treat people nice, they can't help but to like them. If you'd like to find out more information about the lighthouse or want to see how you can donate, be sure to check out the story on WALB.com. Gabrielle Tate. WALB, your hometown news source.